For the general contractors out there looking to get a good, strong, stable installation of the rear embedded back frame for a vertical storing dock leveler, this video is for you. We're going to be talking about how to anchor it, level it, and secure it before you pour concrete in place. It is critical to actually have a good, secure base before you can get the concrete poured. This will make installation of the deck easier and more importantly, avoid costly change orders. In this video, we are going to have examples of how to actually form the pit with the actual back frame and complete the continuous pit or T-style pit formation. This will give you a clean looking dock without excessive structural brackets and easy to maintain, critical for food and medical industry. Hello, thank you for joining me. Gerard Biazuto here from Blue Giant. Uh, we're here to uh, uh, embed the actual rear back frame channel uh, onto the floor for one of the first phases and, and stages of the installation. What they're doing right now is they're actually uh, measuring the center line of the door opening. It is important to identify the center line of the door opening because you want your dock liver to actually lower into the trailer on the center line. If you don't find the center line, you, that's your, your main datum or your starting point of the entire system that's here. After you do the center line, then you're actually doing the measurements. If it's not plumb and square, then you're gonna have a problem uh, what we've done here is we've actually aligned entire 13 positions here all in one even line. The pit floor has a, has a half inch slope that if any moisture comes down, they can actually wash it out of the building. So for the unit to be perpendicular, you need to actually shim the front edge and actually level it out uh, to get that angle correctly. He's gonna drill the holes now that he has the unit centered. Once he finishes drilling the, the anchor, these steps are important to secure because if you don't secure it, the, the concrete will actually push the channel out of the way. This one's showing the levelness across this way, and this one at this, on this ball at the top side here is showing that it's level vertically. You know, now that the back frames have been put into place, the actual forming between the actual uh, dock levers have been put in place, bracing here is put in place to support the actual back frame unit. More than just the anchor that's on the back side, on both sides of these units, but also the wood bracing with these two lateral supports towards the exterior building wall adds all the, the concrete support that's here. Because there's, again, concrete's heavy, so not just the actual anchor on the bottom, but also this top support that's, on, that's here is actually putting all the load support from this brace to the exterior wall, pushing up against the back frame so the concrete load doesn't distort or move this out of position. So the electrician has just come through to actually install the conduit pipe from the control panel, or what will be the control panel pedestal, down through the actual pit floor uh, in front of the uh, hole that's been pre-drilled from the factory for there. Important to note here, to allow the electrical lines to feed through, runs in clearly with no obstructions through the actual pit floor and outside to the outside edge here. He's building the form as he did in the other ones. This is the carpentry work to assemble the reinforcement. This is the outside frame wall here, from the column up to the line. This video has summarized how to build that pit floor, making sure that during the concrete pour, the back frame is embedded securely, nothing moves, all the installation works well, and the dock loader can be used for many years to come.